come off. We're going inside of people. Brittany, can you please stop taking your temperature? It's not what it's about today. It's about blood and driving that blood home. Um, well, as many of you don't know, I am Kai Kai Kai's philanthropy chair. Um, or at least I was until somebody um, told National about my last event, which was Strip for Single Mothers. So I'm here today, I'm gonna get my crown back with pretty much the most charitable thing I could think of, giving other people's blood away. You know, and it makes me so weepy when I think about it because I think of babies. I don't think that the sorority knows about this um, or the Red Cross, so I actually don't know how Courtney got permission. Oh, because dreamers make their own permission, Brittany. So, do you want to be Vampire Vixen or Naughty Naughty Nurse? This one. Correct. thinking while I was gone, and I really feel like breaking up with Marshall was the best thing I could have done for myself. Everyone has been super supportive of my decision, and overall I just feel fresh-faced and fancy-free! <laughs> Plus the doctors say for having broken both tibias, I'm surprisingly chipper. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to sit down to stand up for yourself. Hey, 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 excuse me. Eyes up here, mister. Nope. Nope. That blood jig is all wrong, Daniel. It's more efficient this way. Is everything prepared for the screening? Let me worry about that. You just worry about whether or not your film is finished on time. Let me worry about that. You just worry about the super germs you've created due to the excessive use of hand sanitizers in American households and facilities just like this one every day! Hey Mike, are you sure you can even give blood? I think you have to be at least 110 pounds and not be infected with anything. You also can't be taking Propecia. Next! How did he know that? Mike. <laughs> hey, Court. Do you have crabs? No. Hmm. How do I know you're lying? Aren't these questions supposed to be confidential and conducted by a professional? What are you afraid of? Serious ethical violations. All right, you guys can go through. I feel like that's worse. Is it perfect? No. Will they notice? Probably not. Maybe if I would have had a studio budget, I could have afforded a crew. I could have afforded to light the damn thing. I wouldn't have had to depend on my 12 hours of stock footage from the Abbey Toilet Cam. But let's face it, my audience doesn't get much more sophisticated than that. Give them something to laugh at, though? And they're yours. See? Gotcha. Oh, Abigail and I can't give blood. I've been to Africa within the last 12 months, and Abby's lived more than half her life in contact with livestock. I wouldn't really mind, except Court was kind of harsh. Okay, don't waste my time, you useless blood bags! Oh well, there's always next year. Hey, you two! Did you get turned away too? It seems like a lot of people did. I donate, but I'm less inclined to give away my blood after losing so much during surgery. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sure we'll find something just as fun to do. Come on! Whee! Have you ever kissed a famous person? Yeah! Flunty! Ew! Next! Have you had male-to-male -male sexual contact at least once since 1977? No. Okay, you can donate, but you should be ashamed of yourself. Are you currently under the influence of drugs or alcohol? Yes, two at least one of those. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Probably. Uh-huh. And have you taken money or drugs for sex since 1977? Since then, no. Next! Interpreter, the special 
Olympics and you are taking all of my donors. What are you talking about? None of us passed your very selective screening test. You wouldn't let me in because I didn't know your last name. Well, I want all of you back. And I demand that you give me your blood. You guys, give us a sec. <laughs> Court, can I talk to you over here? Okay, first of all, I don't want to see you disrespect me like that ever again, okay? Secondly, I know that it wasn't your fault that you hooked up with Marshall. You weren't trying to hurt me. You're just an ignorant and destructive force trampling on everything in your path. Like a hurricane. Or a tornado. A scrunami? Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to help you get people to your blood drive, but only because without donated blood, I'd be cloud dancing with Hammy right now. <laughs> and because I think you're a terrible event planner. Come on, guys! Let's give Courtney our blood! Oh, yeah. Hurry me! The elevator is too slow. <laughs> um, okay, we should probably stop. I, I promised Courtney that I would take this seriously. Wow, and you promised me you wouldn't say that name anymore. So. <laughs> oh, the screen is starting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you seen any of Josh's documentary yet? No, no, not yet. He's been really secretive about it, but. I have a feeling that there's probably three scenes of me crying and one of me taking a bath. So, yeah. Cut the chit chat, Kathy's. Documentary. What's that? Truth projected. Lie tellers exposed, captured. Reality. Depends. Five South. Today you were drained of your life lessons. Just a moment here. Allow me to fill you back up. Play it, Mike. Coming or not? Well, yeah. Come so on. I'm supposed to be a jerk then? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, yeah. I think you're just trying to stir the pot. Brittany. No. I have to get out of here. <laughs> Is that better? 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 Would you guys seriously just be quiet, please? But Michael, I, feel like I'm I feel like I'm talking to myself. Michael, there's like no point for me to be here, but for some reason I'm still here. Do you? It's like feel... I have no control. Okay. Yeah, Mo. Josh, could you come here for a second? Yes, Michael. The truth is. Ah, now we see the truth. 
from behind the bushes of our eyes. That is why we document. That's just yesterday. Tomorrow, no one knows. And today, <laughs> forget today. For today is just tomorrow in disguise as yesterday. America, you wish 